Hello there and welcome to Black Jackal Gaming. We're going to take a look at the Ravenwing Dark Talon. This is a Dark Angels aircraft unit. It's a very fast moving unit being an aircraft and it's got okay toughness but it does have a nice and vulnerable save skill with it. It's got plenty of low strength shooting to help you out and quite a good once again bombing ability and more importantly it can come with the hover ability so you can start it on the battlefield. Taking a look at the data sheet, it comes in at a whopping 210 points. With it being an aircraft, it has a minimum movement of 20 inches, toughness 8, 3 up save, 11 wounds, leadership 6, and 0 objective control. It comes with a rather nice 5 up and vulnerable save. Now it is an aircraft, so it does come with the ability to have minus 1 to hit, and it can't be charged by units that cannot fly. But it must start in reserves, which is a bit of an issue, and when it comes on the battlefield, it can't actually move because it has to be within a certain distance from the table edge. So you are losing potentially two turns of movement from the data sheet. However, it does have the hover keyword, so you can select to put it in hover mode at the start of the battle. This means it can start on the battlefield, however, it does lose the aircraft ability, so it doesn't get the minus 1 to hit. Uh, and it doesn't have that minimum of 20 inch movement to no maximum movement, it can only move 20 inches. For its range profile, it comes in at Ballistic Skill 3. It's equipped with Hurricane Bolters, which are Rapid Fire 6 and Twin Linked. They have a 24 inch range, 6 attack, strength 4, 0 AP and 1 damage. It also comes with a Rift Cannon, this has the Blast keyword and Devastating Wounds. It has an 18 inch range. D3 plus 1 attacks, a very nice strength 16, minus 4 AP to cut through that armor and 3 damage. It does have the melee profile and it comes in at weapon skill 4 and it just has the standard armor total with 3 attacks, strength 6, 0 AP and 1 damage. The Dark Talon does have quite a nice ability called the Stasis Bomb. This allows you once per battle to select one enemy unit that this model has moved over. If you do so, the unit suffers D3 mortal wounds and then you have to roll a D6. On a 1-3 to three, the unit cannot advance and fall back so it's quite a good little movement block there and if you roll a 4-6 to six, it must remain stationary. This is going to be quite handy for stopping opponents from scoring primary and secondary because you can target key units that are the only unit available to score that potential primary or secondary just to push you a little bit further and the points are away from your opponent. The big lad might be a little bit too expensive for the points, he could really do with coming down by about 25 points possibly. Uh, his toughness profile is perfectly fine, having the hover ability is quite nice. His weapon profile is quite nice because he has the two hurricane bolters, so you've got 12 shots, could be up to 24. It is twin links, so lots of small arms fire, and the rift cannon is really good with his blast and devastating wounds. That, that strength 16 and minus 4 AP is really good. And the stasis bomb does give you what an, a use to have a, a slight movement debuff to your opponent once again, which is quite nice. So all of in all, it's quite a nice data sheet. It's just slightly overpriced at the moment. So what buffs and combos can you give to the unit? Well, he is a vehicle, so technically he can be healed and get, be given plus one in a command phase by a tech marine. That plus one to hit would be quite nice. If he's in hover mode, you're going to get even more out of the tech marine because he doesn't have to have that automatic minimum movement. So there is potential to buff him further in the game as well. The inner circle detachment is pretty useless for him because he doesn't have the death wing keyword, so he can't uh, use a lot of the stratagems or uh, detachment rules. So and none of the war gear works, so he's pretty much on his own, so there's no point actually taking him in the inner circle. It sounds like he should work in the Ravenwing, being a Ravenwing unit, but the problem he has is that most of the strats are restricted to, to mounted units or infantry units, um, so you don't get a lot out of him, he doesn't have access to any of the war gear buffs, and he's best used in high speed, so the, the minus one to range attacks is really nice for that stratagem. Uh, but outside of that, you're probably going to struggle to get the most out of the detachment with it. The Lion does give a decent buff for him. He has the No Hiding from the Watcher's Aura. This grants uh, Funeral Pain 4 plus against Mortal Wounds when they're 6 inches. So you've got plenty of opportunity to keep skirting by the Lion and making sure that you pick up that Funeral Pain, which is quite nice. The Dark Angel detachment, where you're going to get the most out of him, is Grin Resolve, the original detachment. Now the detachment rule doesn't really work because the model is 0 OC so having that um, only halves the, the OC when Battleshocked really doesn't matter for this model. There's four stratagems that work really well, the first being Fire Discipline. This grants your ranged weapons the Assault keyword so if you're in hover mode you can advance and still fire your weapons. 
It also gives you the heavy and ignores cover keyword. So if you decide to stay stationary, you get that plus one to hit and you're ignoring any cover benefits as well, which is really nice. You've then got Grim Retribution. When the model is destroyed in the shooting phase, you can use this stratagem to shoot back as if it is the shooting phase. The model you're shooting does have to be an eligible target though. Next we have Unbreakable Lines. After the model's been charged, you can subtract one to the wound roll. So this is more beneficial when you're in hover because then everything can charge it. However, when you're just a normal aircraft, only things with fly can charge it. So you're pretty much safe majority of the time. Finally, we have Intractable. This allows you to shoot and declare a charge when you've fallen back. So if you do get charged, have that ability to drop back, have those 24 strength zero, um, strength four shots, zero AP shots. That'd be really nice as well as your main weapon, just pounding a little bit of strength 16 damage into them. It's actually quite a nice day, day sheet, especially as far as Space Marine aircraft are concerned. It has plenty of firepower, being low strength and high strength, and it's got a decent ability, decent toughness profile. The issue with it is just the points are a little bit too high, and the fact that it's a Ravenwing unit, but it doesn't really benefit from being in a Ravenwing detachment, which makes it in a slightly weird position, to be honest but it is a decent unit overall. Check out these other videos and I'll see you next time.